Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions, and this is the review of a D-Link Full HD Wi-Fi camera, specifically the DCS 8300 LH V2. In the box, you have the camera itself, as well as some stickers to suggest that you are in fact protected by a D-Link device. You also have the USB cable that plugs in the back of the camera and into the power unit. The design of this camera is quite unique. Normally when it comes to indoor cameras, they do tend to sometimes be quite bulky and kind of not really that well adjusted to a home environment. This one keeps it simple and does it well. You have a base that sits on the desk or surface that you want to put it on. This is a circular base. On top of this, you then have the camera side of things that kind of plugs into that circular base. And when you plug it in, you can actually rotate it up to 360 degrees. It's only about 112 millimeters tall and about 65 millimeters wide. It's a very small camera. You could basically hide it on top of, I don't know, some entrance so you can have like a discrete camera system so that intruders won't actually know that there's a camera there, which is cool. Okay, so the design. What are the positives and negatives? Positives. It's a small and compact camera. Very lightweight, easy to place around your home. You can rotate it 360 degrees, which makes it very versatile for any situation you want to put it in. It's easy to mount onto the wall. And it looks really, really good. It doesn't look like an old, dated piece of technology. It looks the part. Design negatives. It does feel a little bit cheap. I suppose that's because it is. Although, when you're handling this camera and you're kind of placing it around, it does feel like... It does feel slightly brittle. It would have been nice to maybe have more of a weight in the base of the unit, so it gives that a little bit more stability wherever you're placing it. Also, I'm not really sure how necessary the speaker is on this camera because you're not really going to ever use the speaker. The main use case of this camera is to connect it up, give it a network connection, log in on your phone and watch it and record it. I feel like the speaker was a bit of a waste of an addition. Yes, I understand it is a standard feature across multiple cameras. I just don't feel it was particularly necessary for this one. So in terms of video compression, you have H.264. The max resolution is two megapixels in full HD. The maximum frame is 1080p. That's 1920 by 1080. The image sensor is one by three inch progressive CMOS sensor. The infrared light on this enables up to five meters of infrared LEDs. That's about 16 foot in the dark. The focal length is 3.18 millimeters. The aperture is f2.2. There is in fact a built-in microphone and a speaker for reasons I'll get into a bit later on. It weighs around 80 grams. And the dimensions of this are 62 by 65 by 112 centimeters or 2.4 by 2.6 by 4.3 inches. On the front of the camera, at the very top, you have the light sensor. Just below that, there is a status or status LED. In the middle, you have the full HD 1080p resolution lens. And just below that, you have the microphone. Turning the camera around, we've got the speaker on the back, a micro SD card slot, the reset button, and the micro USB connector. Setting up this camera is very, very simple. All you need to do is first download the My D-Link app from your respective app stores. That's either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. When you've downloaded this and you open it up after signing in and creating whatever account you need to create, the likelihood is you'll see a pop-up that says new device detected and you can press OK and it will go through the wizard. This wizard will then associate your internet connection that your phone picks up with this camera. If for some reason it doesn't detect the camera or you want to do this from scratch, all you have to do is press add device and then scan the QR code which is on the bottom of the camera. I think the setup process and the overall simplicity involved in this is probably the best thing about this camera. 
it's not meant to be the all bells and whistles camera that's going to be able to have a 4K resolution, that's going to record the best video ever. It's supposed to be for those of you that just want to go to the shop, buy a camera for not much money, set it up conveniently indoors wherever you want it to be, and the application be decent enough to go through some automation and cool looking things like detection in certain areas etc. This camera will allow you to do just that. It's not that expensive, there's not much to it, just a camera in a box with a lead and some software. It really is set up for success for the entry level of cameras. So a minute ago I just mentioned about the application that comes with it, that's the MyD-Link app. Well you're going to use this to basically unlock the functionality of this camera. Within the MyD-Link app you can set things up like automation so that it will know that when you leave your home to put the camera in privacy mode or enable certain notifications to happen. This allows you to customize the camera so it behaves differently depending on the scenario. For example, you can have it set so when you're at home, you don't need it to be recording so then you can enable privacy mode and vice versa when you leave the home. Just like lots of the D-Link cameras, having a few of these linked up to the My D-Link app will enable you to create a smart home bubble. You can have a variety of different sensors working with this camera to really maximize your smart home experience. It's pretty cool stuff. I like the fact that you can slowly build your collection of D-Link devices until you're happy with your configuration. It really allows an entry level person to come through and start their journey. Great stuff. Let's say you have somebody intruding into your house or you just want to play a little prank on somebody. You can use the two-way audio, which will allow you to press and hold your phone screen, talk into your phone, and that sound of your voice will come out on the camera's speaker. So you can basically say, boo, or get out of my house, or a mixture of the two. In reality, you're never really gonna use the two-way audio for anything other than, hey, I can see you, to friends and family when you're joking around talking into a phone to try and somewhat intimidate an intruder or tell them to leave isn't going to work because they're probably just going to unplug the camera. Let's be realistic here. You may have heard me mention about the cloud recording feature. If you don't want to mess around with any of the cloud features or SD cards, you can actually link this to a NAS drive using the ONVIF toolset. Seeing up to five meters in the dark for a small camera like this is really, really impressive. Again, it's pretty shocking that this is a budget camera and it has all of these different features. There are also quite detailed changes that you can make in terms of the detection settings. You can choose how sensitive the detection is. This is to stop any unwanted alerts coming through to say that somebody's been detected. Or you can maximize the sensitivity so that every single movement and tiny thing is detected and sent through to your phone. What you can also do is let's say you have the camera pointing at an area, you can actually define whereabouts in that area you want to be detected, ignoring everything else. This is good for example if you have your camera pointed out in your front garden but in the background there is a road where cars are consistently driving past. You can define this so that all the cars driving past will be ignored on the movement and anyone walking up to your house will not. As you saw earlier you can also choose to record the video that you capture onto an SD card, a micro SD card as it were. You can also use the cloud recording feature that's brought to you by the MyD-Link app. However, this is a paid service. What I quite like about the app is that you can go through the exact time frame on the exact dates. So let's say you go through the calendar and you see, I can't remember what car came into my driveway about two weeks ago. You go to that entry, you click it, and you can see the video and you can see the subject. Also, if you choose to expand your D-Link range of cameras, the dashboard within the My D-Link app will enable you to go through all of them. I'm actually really impressed when it comes to the features of this camera, because for the price range, you'll get in AI-based person detection, sound and motion detection, day and night video recording, as well as supporting ONVIF, for your personal NAS drives, 
as well as AI based sound and motion detection, as well as having a 1080p camera. Yes, the 1080p isn't the greatest image quality, but it will do just fine. Overall, it's a very streamlined app. I've reviewed a series of D-Link cameras now, and I have to say over time, the application has just got better and better. So as I said before, the My D-Link app continues to be the brains of the operations for these cameras, and it allows you to do things like scenes, automations, schedules, change the device settings, and just, it goes on and on. So I really recommend you have a look about the My D-Link app. The D-Link app always seems to be changing. Most of the time for the better, things are getting sharper, but it does feel a little bit buggy from time to time. Overall, this camera is intended for those of you that want an entry-level camera that has really, really good capabilities. It's not the most amazing in terms of its technical specification, because obviously 1080p has been around for a while, it does have a fairly plasticky design, it doesn't have the most premium feel in the world, but if you're putting it on top of a doorway or in a cupboard facing outwards, you're really not going to care what the design is like as long as it works well, and it really does work well. The only real negatives I can think of is, like I just said, the design isn't the most premium level, the camera quality could be a little bit better, but apart from that, it's a solid camera and I strongly recommend you check it out. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with the review of the simply named D-Link DCS-8300 LH V2 Full HD Wi-Fi camera. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them as a comment below.